guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i upload every fridays now as far as what goes on in this channel fashion content lifestyle content vlogs the whole nine yards so yeah that's basically what you can expect here on this channel today's video is going to be a spring summer 2020 2023 trends list so all of your must knows for this coming season but um, I'm kind of going to break it up into three categories. So it's going to be the, you know, new trends and then trends that are here, but we've seen them like maybe like last year. I'm going to probably do it based on like last spring, summer, because that's like what's the most fresh in my mind. So yeah, trends that were here last spring, summer that are like coming back this season, but maybe in a different way. And then also trends that I feel are overlooked like nobody's really like a few people are talking about them like maybe i heard like you know one person talking about it on like a podcast or like one article or something but like it's not like everywhere like the other ones but i feel like they're being overlooked because i feel like they'll still be really big so what there's only a few of those that i'm going to talk about but that's kind of how i'm going to break up this video and yes so if you're interested go ahead and keep on watching and if you enjoy fashion content, if you enjoy, you know, just seeing my beautiful face, then go ahead and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start with the like hottest trends right now. But I will say I'm going to try to like mention where I've seen these things. But coming some slack, I'm still trying to work on like the names, like pronouncing the names of a lot of these designers. And also like I watched a bunch of shows like via YouTube and I followed the different YouTubers and I read a bunch of magazines like Who, What, Where. I read some like Vogue, but you know, they have that whole thing where you can only read so much and you have to pay for a subscription. So Vogue, Who, What, Where, Harper's Bazaar, Elle, Glamour that's all I could think of right now so yeah I looked at a lot of those looked at a what different youtubers that I watch had to say listen to different podcasts that like cover fashion trends and so I got a lot of information from a lot of different places and so this is just like basically what were the biggest that stood out to me there's still a ton so I'm gonna mention the ones that I remember but yeah disclaimer just going out in the beginning you know this maybe not all of them but this is what stuck out to me okay and based on my resources and everything. So, let's get started. Hottest trends. One huge trend is like the brief shorts, underwear, shorts situation. I know they were talking about, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about Kylie went to the uh, Loewe show with like these underwear shorts. And like, everybody was like, what's going on here? And now it's like the thing. Cause I know like last year it was the micro mini and Miu Miu came out with those little mini skirts that are ridiculously short, but it's still cool. You know, it's like, but I could pull that off, you know? So now it's the shorts, right? Will I be protecting in this trend? Not sure, probably not. I I'm just gonna say probably not. Honestly, like it feels, way too much for me but to each their own i'll insert a picture i'll have a picture of kylie on there and a few other photos if i um you know find some more from the shows that i watch first huge trend the brief shorts the next one is bling slash sequins slash rhinestone slash metallics so basically like i know a lot of like the articles i was reading were calling it like high octane sequins or high octane and then a lot of other places were saying like oh like sheeny fabrics and like metallics some people eat i mean some very few were kind of like also mentioning like silks and satins which i know was like a bigger thing last year but you know all of that i saw this if you are subscribed to my newsletter you would have seen um february 1st that the valentino show they showcase like this really cool gray 
silver shiny sequin jacket with like these feathers on it which is really cool and also like this handbag was like mirrored type of rhinestone situation on it and like also at the Fendi show you know they had the sequins like theirs were like long like ovular like long type of sequins which Valentino show they also I realized because I watched it back a second time they also had like those like type of sequins which is really interesting and like typically I don't really like sequins but in certain ways that things have been doing that uh, the designers and brands have been like showcasing them I'm kind of like okay it works sometimes so yeah, that's also like a really huge trend right now. Sequins, bling, metallics. So yeah, it's really a big trend this year. Party bags, bling bags, like sparkly shoes, like obviously like with accessories and stuff. I feel like that's how I would like participate in it, participate in this trend. But as far as like full on bling outfit, I don't really know. I would just have to like feel that like it has some versatility and I would be able to like wear it more than just like something like you know party or like whatever like something i could wear like that has versatility but yeah so bling and sparkle the next trend is leather grunge whatever you want to call it motorcycle biker vibe this trend was like i know like the grunge vibe was punk or whatever was like a thing last year but more with the emphasis towards the leather this year so kind of over the top leather like oh like full leather outfits like you know you know you could throw like your your jacket like your leather jacket over like your outfit and it's like okay like i'm like i'm grunge i'm cool you know but like it's like super big leather jackets even like full leather leather bag leather shoes i don't know but i saw like a lot when they were doing like the leather that it was like a whole thing or if it's not it's like a very impactful piece like a, maybe a leather jacket that's like you know very statementy if that makes sense like the leather is like the main topic of the outfit you know what i'm saying so yeah that was a big trend that i noticed i don't have that much leather in my closet or pleather or whatever in my closet like clothing so I'm not able to participate that much in that right now unless I go and purchase things but I do have one look that I want to shoot in the future so maybe you'll see that one of these days it's like I have like my pleather pants and my leather jacket and then like my combat boots I think that would be cute so yeah huge trend cargo baggy pants but cargo specifically cargo everything like not even just like cargo pants but cargo shirt cargo dress cargo on your arm like just because like cargo on your purse with like a pouch on it like cargo everything literally it's a huge trend we saw it in the Fendi show they like a lot of the bags had like the little or or even like okay like the little um beans that they had with like the little like baguette on it like it's kind of like cargo-y right and then a lot of the shows like the in the Caperni show they had like a lot of cargo pants as well and like the Burberry show you saw like they had like those big cargo pocket arm puff like they look those like swimming pool things you know like a lot of cargo situations like just everywhere in every situation besides just cargo pants which is very interesting cargo skirts were like a thing i was like shopping on that website you know i'd be calling i'll be, be saying it i don't know if i'm saying it right akaria akira something like that akira probably but um they had like a cargo skirt on there so yeah it's just like very much a cargo type of year the next one is like midi slash knee length skirts or dresses so again with the Caperni show you know how they did the spray paint situation spray on fabric on Bella Hadid so that was like a midi length type of dress some people are saying midi some people are saying knee length right it's like midi is like a little bit below the knee but it's like giving the same vibe to me at least um so yeah we saw that a lot with like skirts and dresses i know that this was like really common all over a lot of different shows and like a lot of people were talking about how like knee length is like the thing or midi length or whatever so if you had those like you know satin midi length skirts or like any of those skirts that were like really a thing that everybody was like buying before 
pull them back out because they're trending okay so another trend is dramatic accessories and like i was so excited and intrigued to see this like so many shows had like these like arm cuff situations and like okay this is like one of the ones that nobody i haven't seen anybody talk about these arm cuffs like at all like anywhere like i've seen people talking about like the dramatic earrings and how they're like shoulder length and they're like they're calling like shoulder sweepers and stuff which is really cool and like that's also goes in this whole dramatic accessory thing but these arm cuffs nobody was talking about this nobody like I haven't heard anyone else talking about this and I was like am I the only person that's noticing that everybody is doing this like I've seen I saw at least four different shows that were that did something like this and even if it wasn't like an arm cuff they did like matching like giant bangles like okay you remember when um Kylie went to the billboard award and she wore that uh, those I don't know what brand they were but like those gold break like cuff bracelets on top of what uh she was probably wearing like John Paul Gaultier I don't know how to pronounce it I think that's what she was wearing or she could have been wearing something else I don't know the brand to be honest but those bracelets that she was wearing like that is like the vibe like people have been I mean all the like shows had like something like that where it's like those big giant like type of cuff bracelets or actual arm cuffs so I'll have some examples here but I think it was so big and like nobody was talking about it so let's just go ahead and move over into the things that nobody was talking about i'm trying to make sure i didn't like forget any of the huge trends if i did well they'll be in here somewhere but yes that was one that i was really like how is nobody talking about this this is like so cool like i thought it was really cool and i would love to see people like actually wearing it and not just be like a runway thing like oh it's like so untamable because like anybody can just get like some really cool big chunky bracelets or like cuffs and just like wear them like or like those arm cuffs remember everybody was like wearing those egyptian looking arm cuff things it wasn't quite like that but like you know the vibe it's really cute so i think people should do that and i feel like i'm predicting it'll be a thing because I, th I just think it's really cute honestly and i feel like people are overlooking it but if the stores are actually like catching on to this and it's like in store i feel like people will gravitate towards towards it to be honest i really do next is fringe slash feathers this was a trend last year but it's also something that i feel like is low-key being overlooked i saw a few people talk about it a few i also some of the youtubers that i watch that recover like trends and stuff i watched like a few of them but not all of them so maybe some of them have covered some of this stuff but i haven't watched all of their videos just so that i don't try to like copy what they're doing just to like you know try to like stay ori as original as possible but the few that i did watch they didn't mention anything about feathers or fringe and i saw like maybe two different articles that i read that kind of mentioned it but it was like even with that valentino uh jacket that i like mentioned earlier there was like feathers coming off of that there was fringe all in the proenza i don't know how to pronounce the last name or the second part of that name but the proenza show they had a lot of fringe going on there also another one that is like okay i'm going all over the place this is what happened this is my brain you're in my brain right now you're in my brain but the fringe feathers we got it nobody was talking about it i don't know why not but moving on the knit like crochet big knit kind of like by big by big knit i mean not like a big like oversized thing but kind of like something that's like holy like the knits are um not like very tight so it's more breathable i don't know but you'll be seeing the examples that i have um showing you but yeah that was something that i saw a few people talk about but like not that much but it was like everywhere like a lot of people were doing that and like even like some of the smaller designers because i watched some shows well i won't say smaller just people that i haven't heard of i watched some other ones too so you know obviously like everyone's like oh let me watch the valentino show and the prada show and the Mew Mew, and then like you know the ferragamo and the fendi but like what about the other people you know i don't remember their names but they had some cool stuff too so yeah i also watched some of their stuff and they had like a lot of these knitted things and like some of the bigger ones did as well now the next one high slits okay so all, again the calperny show is the first one that comes to mind there's like a really cute high slit skirt that was in the show that i'll have on the screen but 
I'm gonna be participating in this one. Obviously, we saw in the last video, I uh, purchased a skirt, which I didn't even realize was part of it. I just was like, this is really cute and I got it. And then I was like, oh, high slits are like in right now, right? But nobody is saying anything about it. Again, I don't know if these are like basic things and maybe like that's how it goes with like the whole like trend thing like it's like oh like floral spring duh like right i don't know but like the slits were like really high on like every single skirt or dress that i saw it wasn't like a little oh peekaboo like i have a slit at the bottom it was like no you're seeing my if i reach my arm up you gonna see my underwear that's how high up the slit was like you have to like be very careful type of slit and also a lot of the shows and stuff like that although they were doing all of this it was very like obvious to me to where i felt like when i started reading articles and listening to people talking about it everybody was going to be like did you see like how high these slits were but no nobody's talking about it like even like just seeing like the little front bone like some of them are like the slit comes like right up kind of like the front and like you see like the little like front like underwear bone i don't even know if you know what i'm talking about but you'll see it on the screen but yeah so i thought that was like a really big thing i think it's really cute i'm gonna participate maybe not with like coming up the front but like you know on the side a little bit of you know cute action as long as you're not gonna be doing too much you know you're gonna be sitting pretty i think participate by all means okay now for some trends that have you know been here for a little bit they were here last year but they're here to stay and maybe they're here in a little bit of a different way first one is maxis so maxi skirts maxi dresses yes but also like duster coats like coats that are like literally dragging on the floor dresses and skirts that are literally like have super long trains super dramatic maxis are like the thing and also stuff with like a little bit of the like say you have like a top or like a mini dress but it has like a really long maxi-esque type of thing coming off of it or like capes are a really big thing a lot of like drapery a lot of capes a lot of like things coming off the arms to where it still touches the ground even though it's a mini skirt or even though it's a, a mini dress or something a lot of things that are kind of hinting at the maxi thing where it's not like a traditional maxi skirt maxi dress but like trying to bring in the maxi vibe in a different way so that was something i really noticed um everywhere so much drapery so much like layering of things as well like drapery drapery and layering was a big thing last year and that's a big thing this year as well but like nobody's really talking about it in that way because i feel like it's just they're just highlighting the maxi thing but like for example uh not valentino versace yes versace had a shirt kind of lacy bedroomy type shirt dress blouse whatever that like unbuttoned and so like they wore as like a top and then like unbuttoned the rest and the rest went like kind of out like this it was in my newsletter if you saw it if not i'll have it on the screen but they did that a lot which was really cool and it's like very like fabric heavy on the bottom but it's like giving like oh yeah my top is just a cute little dainty top but then like bang i have like this whole situation and it looks like really I mean, it looks really cool and effortless, like unintentional, but like, it's like you took your little satiny lacy dress or something and you just like unbuttoned and it was like, actually, I want to wear this at the top and I don't really care. And like, that's the vibe. And I love that. I feel like it's really cute and I want to hop on the trend, um, especially with the top. I want to see if I can find a little button up something and like undo it and wear it like over some like baggy jeans or a mini, uh, not a mini, yeah, the mini skirt. That would be cute too. I don't really know. I don't really know how it's styled yet, but I think that would be so cute. Definitely going to partake in that. Second thing is lime green, which I know that was like popular last year. It's popular again this year. We saw it in the Fendi show and in even like that photo I just showed like in the Versace show, unless it was like kind of like washed out and I was actually yellow. I don't know, but yeah, it was like a very big thing, the lime green. And a lot of people were talking, like a lot of people were talking about how it's going to be big this year again. So yeah. Also, another thing is chunky shoes. So for me, I love this trend. Okay, I have my like platforms that I showed in the my top 10 favorite closet items right now. Yes, chunky shoes are here and they were here before, but they're here like more aggressively this year. Like I feel like they're chunkier and 
they're like in every style like before we were seeing like the platform shoes you know like valentino did those like huge platform shoes and a lot of other people were like doing similar vibe but like now we're seeing it was like clogs we're seeing like, sandals that are really chunky like the prunza show they had really chunky sandals and slides we're seeing of course like the platform still the ones that i like wanted were like these like really cute mules we're seeing a lot of that we're seeing chunky shoes even like with sneakers bulky type of sneakers so yeah it's really a big thing and i'm here for it i love it i think it's really cool and boyish and it's something that i definitely want to invest more in so that i have more options when getting dressed but yes chunky shoes here here to stay the next trend is baggy pants which i briefly mentioned a second before but yes baggy pants what is this oh my goodness oh my face baggy pants but baggy pants low rise baggy pants i know i don't know if that was like the thing last year like low rise i don't remember if that was like the statement of it but like baggy pants were a thing last year but it's like baggier it's like the same thing with the chunky thing it's like they were here but like now they're here you know what i'm saying baggy pants where they're like sweeping the floor like the bottom of your pants are probably going to be ruined because that's how like long and like baggy and like chunky these shoes like these uh these pants are and i really like it i think it's so cool i feel like annoyed because it's like dang like i don't want to get invest in some really nice jeans or like pants honestly it's not even just jeans that's part of this trend and then like they're scraping on the ground and like they're so like messed up and gross at the bottom like you know but it's also why thrifting is your friend and <laughs> invest in multiple pieces or just wear like chunky shoes right like if your stuff is dragging maybe you need to wear a chunkier platform or a higher shoe right i don't know but i'm here for the baggy trend i think it looks really cool it's not really like something that was my vibe before if i'm being honest like i used to love a skinny type of jean something that was really nice and form-fitting okay that was me but within this last year i'm just like had my eye on it like oh yes i like this i've like seen different like influencers and stuff that i watch and i'm like oh yes she looks cute in that i would probably look cute in that like i don't know but i should try it out and then like you know when we went thrifting and i was trying it on i was like okay maybe i'll just invest you know it's on sale or whatever and i like put it on i'm at home i'm styling and i'm like this is my thing now so i'm definitely all into this trend i'm gonna be investing um when i can in a few more options for this honestly it's chef's kiss but yes yeah, so cutouts that was a thing last year a really big thing last year i feel like it's not like maybe as huge like people aren't talking about it as much of a big thing this year but i still saw it everywhere um where whether it's like an asymmetrical vibe or just like you know just like a little like peekaboo peekaboo on the side you know it was still very big and i feel like it's gonna be here to stay this year for sure sheer also a big thing that was here last year is here again sheer you know kind of draped like i don't want to say draped but like you know kind of like worn more wearable i've seen kind of like this year but n n not necessarily i guess but yeah i saw it a lot people aren't really talking about it but i still saw it a lot and i feel like it's still gonna be a thing like everybody who was buying all that sheer stuff last year they're gonna be wearing it again this year and it's gonna be like a thing that people are probably gonna be talking about so yeah that was something that i feel like will be you know a thing also the lingerie esque clothing or whatever this kind of like the nincy dojaka i think i'm pronouncing that right dresses that have been like you know we saw zendaya in the little dresses she had on like the heart vibe and like we also just saw you know within the show a lot of like lingerie things i know a lot of the influencers and things that i've been watching have been talking about how she's been the kind of trailblazer for this but a lot of other designers are like taking on to this whole lingerie-esque vibe with like either it being cut out whether it be like really like slinky things lacy like bedroom type of like like teddies but like wearable you know that's like the vibe 
And so also I noticed bra tops are a thing. Last year, I feel like I saw them like mentioning swimsuit tops, but bra tops. And so that's here again, kind of just wearing a bra as a top. I probably won't be participating in like just wearing my bra all out to the world, but maybe underneath something sheer. I don't know. We'll see. But yes, so definitely the whole lingerie, bra top, all of that type of thing, cutouts, all of that is here again and it's not going anywhere. The last thing that I, comes to mind is puff. I remember talking about that in my newsletter for Spring Summer Trends last year. Puff things, like puff sleeves, puff dress, puff skirts, puff everything, right? But like this year, it's not really like puff is the thing, which like, of course we saw it a little bit, but it's more like accentuated hips, I guess. Whereas like either it's like really slim at the, at the, you know, upper part and then it goes out at the hips like really like big or it's just puff around the hips. Like it just hips, it's a very hippie year. Okay, like that's all I can say about that. I don't really have much else to say to describe it. It's just like, hips aren't lying this year, okay? <laughs> okay, I think that, that wraps up this video. <laughs> that means I need to stop. So that is everything for this video i hope that you enjoyed it that is all of my predictions everything that i feel like people are overlooking everything that i feel like i'll be participating in definitely the baggy jeans the lower rise the better whether it be a skirt low rise love it the high slits maxi skirts chunky shoes give it all to me because nobody else wears it i'll be wearing it okay so yes it'll be um very you know easy to find these things should be very soon in the stores because you know obviously they're looking at these things to figure out what they should buy and the buyers and everything what they should be putting in the store so you should be able to find all these things very soon if not already in the stores near you and yes that is it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video let me know if you want to see more videos like this or what videos that you would like to see let me know in the comments and i will make sure i look at those things okay and yes thank you for watching i don't know what i'm doing but i'm feeling very like this vibe i don't know but yes talk soon <laughs>